Hey everyone, Shaber1000 here. Today we're going to be trying out this from what is that, Mr. Heater? Mr. Heater, the little buddy, buddy heater. <laughs> I know these have been done a hundred million times, but I always wanted one and I'm going to do it because this goes under the free stuff playlist. So let me get you at a better angle, maybe with better lighting, and let's check this out. Okay guys, so sorry about the lighting, I'm just, I'm outside because I want to do this outside but can't go out back because they're playing music, the neighbors and, you know, how that goes. So, here's the box. Like I said, it's been done a lot of times. We've been wanting one. But, couldn't really afford the extra money. There's a lot going on there. And here's some pictures, a guy with a dog, he's hunting and... Looks like he's sitting there woodland wood or something. There's pictures there. Okay, so now you're moving around. I'm gonna close that garage door. I'm in front of the garage door and the washer's running. So I gotta close this garage door. We'll read some of this. We'll get it out of the box and we'll try it out because I happen to have a brand new bottle of propane. So, let's go ahead and get the garage door closed down. Uh, I wanted to go out there where there was more light, but it's awful windy. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, maybe I can move out there. We'll find out. Uh, the wind did calm down a little bit. It's a beautiful day. But we're in Florida. Why do you need a buddy heater? Because it's gotten down. It, it gets down in the 30s every year. Coming up in about... January February I know in January I changed the fuel pump in that Toyota and it was uh, it was 30 degrees even right on the money 30 degrees so um, at nights it does get chilly it usually hangs around the high 30s low 40s you know come come by January February so this could come in handy in the tent so let me get this garage door closed and we'll see if we can film something. <laughs> okay guys, I'll try not to overexpose you too bad. It's kinda kinda cloudy. The sun's out over there, but if I get out here anymore then I'll be overexposed on the sun. Then we could have some wind problems. So if you hear any wind, sorry about that. I'll speak up. So what we got here is we got the little buddy heater. Uh, my friend Ryan, who I worked on his uh, pressure washers. He brought another one down. It's out of time, uh, but it's not the shear key, so. I'm trying to get you. Okay, so. Indoor safe propane heater. It's the model MH4B. Indoor safe propane heater uh, heats up to heats up to 95 square feet. 25% more heat than the largest catalytic heater. Hmm. Uses uh, a one-pound disposable propane cylinder, which is this right here. It's just a one-pound. Uh, five and a half hours of continuous heat, one button start, odorless. Um, it also, I think it said it weighs, I seen the weight on the back. Pretty much says the same thing back here. Easy grip handle, push button off, push button start with single control gas valve. Heavy wire guard. Provides added safety. Of course, it's a, it's a 3800 BTU. So, uh, low oxygen safety shutoff Swiss, uh, system. I do like that. That's cool. Uh, 45 degree angle directs radiant heat where it is needed most. Accidental tip over uh, safety shutoff. 
<coughs> excuse me, so if it falls over, it'll shut off. Um, if your oxygen level gets low, it'll shut off. I, yeah, it weighs six pounds. I don't know if I'm willing to, uh, <laughs> to try that. <coughs> but in our tent, the whole top's open, it's netting. Um, so, and then, like, you put, excuse me, guys, you put a rain fly over it. So it's very well ventilated. Compact heat you can take anywhere. Easy to use, easy to store. The little buddy is perfect for heating workshops, hobby areas, porches, hunting blinds, and campers. And with 3800 BTUs, that's uh, an hour, the little buddy is the right sized solution for instant heat when you need it where you need it and then again it says you know the bottles and stuff like that so yeah let's go ahead and open this up let me raise you up here so you can so we can open this up it's been open but it's never been used anyway Ryan gave this to me he told me he had one he said it'd be perfect for you guys. You guys do a lot of camping. So I was like, okay. I was like, sure, I'll check it out. He brought it to me today. He said, here's a Christmas present for you. Because I put an alter alternator on his Dodge pickup. So, alright. Trying not to move you around too much. There it is. See, you can tell. This thing has never been used. You can tell that. Never been heated up. Caution, hot. There's a push to shut off and igniter here. Here's the bottom piece. I forget where he said he got it. Probably a sale. Here's your instruction manual. Let me put you on automatic. There we go. And we're going to set this down here. Now, bring you back down again. Okay, so it says here, push to ignite pilot. After lit, hold for 30 seconds. Release to start heater. Okay, so... Sorry, I'm just on one of these little fold-up tables. It's like, I can never film anywhere. Wanted to film out back. Can't film out back because the neighbor's music. Um, you know, it's just, my garage is too messy to film in there. Besides, they're doing their laundry stuff today, so... There we go. And it sits in the stand just like that. Okay, so now, okay, push to ignite pilot. After lit, hold for 30 seconds, release to start heater. Okay, so we're going to push this. I don't know. Can't tell if it's lit. There, I heard it. Okay, so we're gonna wait 30 seconds. I'll speed you up. I don't know how you can tell if the pilot's lit. Oh, I see it. All right, now I'm going to speed you up. Take 30 seconds. Okay, so there's there's the 30 seconds. 
Now it's supposed to light. Oh, it is. Can you guys see that? Wow. That thing's quiet. You don't hear a, you know, you're not hearing that. This is what you're hearing. It is lit. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you guys can see the heat waves. Can you see that? I'm looking through them in the screen. But... Oh, man, that, that thing is, is blowing out some heat. Now I'm going to knock this over and let's see if it shuts off. And it did. It shut off immediately. And it lit right up. Yeah, it did shut off immediately. Man, that thing is blowing out some heat now, guys. It's quiet. You can't hear this thing running, but man, it is blowing up some heat there. Woo! Wow. This thing's amazing. Do not remove. Do not tamper with pilot light system. Carbon monoxide poisoning may lead to death. State of California, we're not. Requires the following warning. Warning. Combustion, just in case you are in California. Combustion by products produced when using this product <laughs> contain carbon monoxide, a chemical known to the state of California to cause cancer, well, yeah, and birth defects, yes, of course, or other reproductive harm. So you can't remove that. Wow, that that is hot. It is so quiet. Wow. That's amazing. So you just push it, hold it for 30 seconds and it's lit. That thing is throwing out some heat now. Cool. Thank you, Ryan. Appreciate that very much. He said, here, I got an early Christmas present for you. I said, oh, you don't have to. He said, no. We talked about this before. It was the little buddy heater, so that's, that's pretty cool. All right. Yeah, I can see the white now starting to get red. I don't know if you guys can see it. Maybe if I turn the lighting down on here a little bit. Go to manual. I don't want to get too close to my lens. But yeah, it's starting to it's starting to get red, so Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me see if I can zoom you in on it a little bit. Yeah, see it now? It's starting to get red. And it's quiet. I hear it a little bit because of the wind. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, see it's getting red. Wow. This thing's amazing. Can't get over how quiet it is. You cannot hear the gas going through it. This is really cool up to 95 square feet so that's you know I mean it's like a bedroom you know awesome ah, too cool oh yeah she oh man that thing's really kicking now so like we was talking that you know a lot of times once you get in your sleeping bag, you're warm. You're warm the rest of the night. It's before you go to sleep. Oh, I just got hit with a leaf. Did you see that? It's usually before you go to sleep, you know, take the chill off, 
and then um, and then waking up in the morning you kick this thing on and heat your tent up a little bit I think it's gonna be fine yeah she's getting a yeah she's getting hot Wow so we'll hit the off button and that's it it's still giving off radiant heat you know until that ceramic or whatever it is cools down but it's not lit no, it's not lit anymore so wow that is amazing can't wait to try it out in the tent I could set it in the truck we could set it in the truck and see in the uh, SUV and see how see how warm it gets yeah let's do that we got to try it out somehow right hang tight okay guys so we're in the Chevy we got that sitting right back there on the floor can't hear it running I just put that in there I can already feel it this would be perfect for a bunk heater for uh, you know truck drivers car camping wow it's hot in here already now, granted it's not a real cold day but it's pretty chilly it's in the 60s like down here you know after being up north and everything when you come down here you know 40 degrees up north we got t-shirts on you know down here 40 degrees it's cold it's like a different cold you know kind of like gets into your your bones you know what I mean um, so yeah that that will come in useful uh, in the garage once that garage cools down it stays cool um, I do have an electric heater in there for in the winter time and uh, but yeah that's there it is It's getting hot in here already. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have a low or medium or anything like that, but that's okay. I mean, it, I'm already sweating in here, guys, and I, I, I darn sure wasn't sweating outside with the breeze. So sorry about the wind, but yeah, it's uh, it's hot in here. <laughs> it's super hot in here. So yeah, I mean, like I said, a good bunk heater small camper you know i know some some guys they they reviewed that thing said it wouldn't keep their camper warm and you know it's it only run five and a half hours those bottles are expensive yeah they are but you can get you can get those uh, hoses that screw into that thing and you can run if you got a camper you probably got a, one of the big propane tanks on it um so yeah i mean this thing's amazing but like I said, I wouldn't run it all night in a tent anyway. Um, because once you get inside your tent and you get all bundled up in your sleeping bag, you're good to go all night, you know, unless you're somewhere where it snows a lot and it gets down to negative 30 or 20. Well, then, you know, I wouldn't be camping in my tent anyway. It's just kind of like a one season, might be a two season, summer and fall, but you know I mean we're technically not into winter yet so Whew. but yeah we we've, we've had some some cold mornings here through through January and into February towards the end of February it starts getting again about like it is right now so man yeah that's that is nice cool <laughs> I like it again thanks Ryan I appreciate it and thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, I don't know what these cost. I'll look it up and put it on the screen if I can find them. And put a link in the description below uh, where you can get one of these. Like I said, this one was free. He gave it to me. It was never used. So, yeah, I really appreciate that. So, anyway, guys, again, Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, Legend. I'm gone for now. We'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, everyone. Bye-bye.